Good evening. I'd like to call the regular monthly meeting to order. Would everyone please rise for the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening in grateful adoration for the many gifts that you have given us and the ways in which you continue to wrap us in your grace and love. We ask a special blessing upon those in our school system family during this holy season. Help them to find peace and joyful times with their loved ones during their time off and return each one to us safely at the start of the new year. Keep us mindful of your wonder and help us to remain thankful for your guidance throughout our days in both our professional and personal lives. These things we pray in your name. Amen. 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 Mr. Gaines, would you lead us in the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Roll call, please. Mrs. Acevedo. Here. Mr. Campbell. Here. Dr. Kraft. Mr. Egan. Here. Mr. Gaines. Here. Mr. England. Here. Mrs. Dysart. Here. Mrs. Lemoyne. Here. Dr. Lewis. Here. Mr. Long. Here. Mr. Warren. Here. Okay. All present. Thank you, Ms. Voce. Um, before we go on to the first item, again, we want to just, well, on behalf of the entire board, welcome Mr. Carl Gaines, the newly elected school board member. Welcome to the regular school board meeting now. Similar to the committee one. Correct. <laughs> okay. All right. Next item on the agenda: community concerns. Miss Benesat. No one has signed up, so we'll go on to the next item. Uh, next item is a motion to incorporate the December 2016 general committee meeting report into the minutes of the December regular monthly meeting. There's a motion by Dr. Lewis, seconded by Ms. Lemoyne. Any discussion? There being none, please catch your votes. Motion passes 11-0. Thank you. Next item is the, present, or the presentation of personnel changes for December 2016. Good evening, Mr. Granberry. Good evening, good evening. Uh, no, we, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just glad to see where Ron, Mr. Ronnie Alonso is coming back to our school system. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah he's a good, he was Happy good to have him back oh, with yeah. us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Good choice. Thank you. He'll be an addition to our administrative basketball team, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All five foot six of them. <laughs> Point guard, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's playing one, center this year. <laughs> we have to, we'll have to get the young man from Shelman High School, our seven footer, to come get him a few points. Yeah. yeah. Again, congratulations to Angela Siebert, um, who will be the same, who was named the St. Bernard principal. St. Bernard Middle Principal, she's done an excellent job, and uh, we know you'll continue to do so. And we all do welcome, and are very happy to have Mr. Ronnie Alonzo back in, at the St. Bernard Parish School System. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Granberry. Next item is a motion to adopt the 2017 2018 school calendar there was no recommendation by the committee because the vote had not been or the runoff vote had not been uh, taken good evening Ms. Larson good evening I know it's been a long week for us you know waiting <laughs> for the results but uh, if you look at the tally sheet that I provided we'd like to recommend to you that we adopt option four on the basis of input from all of our employees Ms. Larson, can you, for just for the um, parents and, and for the audience, if you could just highlight the option four? Sure. Uh, we will begin school on August 1st with our teaching staff returning, and our students will report 
for classes on August 7th. Uh, we will end school on May 25th, which is before uh, Memorial Day, and that's in response to requests from our community. Uh, we'll have a 10-day uh, Christmas holiday and a one-day fall break on October 9th. And other than that, the calendar stays pretty consistent from year to year. It will be posted on our website by the end of January. Thank you, Ms. Larson. And uh, the vote um, definitely was in favor of option four. <laughs> so, Dr. Kraft? <clears throat> There's a motion by Dr. Kraft, seconded by Mr. Campbell. Any discussion on the calendar? There being none, please cast your votes. Motion passes 11 0. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Larson. And thanks also to the committee who. Um, worked on the calendar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda are items to be placed on the agenda of the next committee meeting. Anyone? Okay. Um, I, I would like to place on the agenda the, um, the school reports and scores, Ms. Um, Boche. Okay. Please. Anyone else? Okay, next item or superintendent's recommendations. Okay, um, we, we got some very uh, good news this past week. I know that um, y'all are aware that we always have our students compete for posse scholarships, and we've been fortunate in the past to have a couple of winners. We have one young lady who is at Notre Dame, we've got someone at Tulane, and uh, at Bard College in New York and uh, this year we were just notified that we actually have four winners which are full tuition scholarships uh, one uh, Kaya Lawrence mm -hmm. has a full tuition scholarship to Notre Dame mm -hmm. um, Austin Mankin has a full tuition scholarship to Tulane mm -hmm. Uh, Haley Marshall has a full tuition scholarship to Case Western Reserve, which is in Illinois. And Michael O'Neill has a full tuition scholarship to Illinois Westland. So um, having four winners from one school, I haven't heard of that before. I'm not sure where the other winners in the metro area are coming from because they are from Kids who uh, students who apply for this are from throughout Orleans, Jefferson, Plaquemines, St. Bernard, all the surrounding areas. And as you know, uh, this is a, they. There are ten of them who form that group, which is called the Posse, and they uh, have a full ride to each of these universities, and they have that support system in place. So they go through training sessions from now until they leave in August to get better uh, acquainted as a group so that when they go up there, if they have, I don't want to say problems, but challenges, that they've got that support of each other. And this is a fantastic program. So to have four Posse scholarships is, is amazing. So that just came out a few days ago and we'll be doing you know, a press release and stories on this. Uh, shortly, but I just wanted to let you know right. is that, that like happened. A, is that like a foundation? Yeah, the the um, posse. It, it, it's the Posse Foundation formed years ago, and it is to help students who have leadership potential, maybe not always the super top scores, mm -hmm. but who have leadership potential who may not have gotten other types of scholarships mm -hmm. to get a full I guess a full ride to a very good university. But what they have found with a lot of kids who go away like that, sometimes if they don't have a very strong family support structure and they're away, things kind of fall apart. Mm -hmm. So I think some young person said, well, if I had my posse with me, we would be, I'd have been fine, mm -hmm. which kind of spurred the idea and the name for this. So they felt that if they could get a group of students 
who got to know each other extremely well, become somewhat of a family. They have contacted many different universities who agree to accept the group as a whole, and they will send them in a group of 10. And they do fundraising across the country for these uh, scholarships. And um, it, it's an absolutely great program, and these four kids have a tremendous opportunity that they would not have had otherwise. Mm -hmm. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Tulane. Tulane is quite steep as well. Mm -hmm. I think, and Ms. Foche, last year we had a, a student um, who received a full top, full um, scholarship to Notre Dame, to Notre Dame also. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame's a very difficult university to even to get even into, into, much mm -hmm. less to have a full scholarship. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to all four of our students. We're very happy for them and very, very proud of them. So we wish them well next year in their um, new college endeavors. Okay. So anything else? Mr. England? No, just a tremendous opportunities for these students. Absolutely. And just uh, another comment, obviously, tomorrow is our last day of school prior to the holidays, so we want to make sure, I'm sure there are going to be celebrations throughout our school system tomorrow, and uh, we'll go off with a very joyful spirit for mm -hmm. Christmas, and hopefully everyone will be safe and come back to us. We do return on Tuesday, January 3rd, so it'll be a nice break, and then we'll see everybody back on the 3rd. Thank you, Ms. Voce. Anyone else? Well, on behalf of the entire board, uh, we just want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and blessed uh, New Year. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn at this time? Motion on Ms. Aceveda. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Campbell. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 The meeting is now adjourned. Thank you and good night.